Rain and groundwater often mistakenly end up in the sanitary sewer. That can cause sewage overflows and overwhelm our treatment plants. This is called inflow and infiltration. To ensure the safety of residents and the environment, our stormwater drainage system must be kept separate from our sanitary system. Preventing these problems is everyone's responsibility. Approximately 50% of rainwater entering the sewer system comes from private property. If your house has cracked pipes, improperly connected roof and foundation drains, or roots puncturing sewer pipes, you could have a lot of water entering the sanitary sewer system. As a property owner, you are responsible for maintaining your sewer lines. It's up to you to make sure they're working properly. So what can you do? Avoid planting trees and shrubs over sewer lines on your property. Check your home's gutters and drains. They should not be connected to the sanitary sewer system. And replace any known, broken, leaky or problem sections of your sewer pipe. If you need help, contact your local plumber or municipality for assistance. Find out how these issues can be detected in our next video, Part 4, How Municipalities Prevent Rainwater from Entering the Sanitary Sewer System. The CRD, making a difference together.